September 11th is too often used by racists as an excuse to discriminate against Muslims. But good thing there's still people willing to speak up for the downtrodden and pay special attention to the soldier at the end of this video. More than a decade after 9-11, hate crimes against Muslims are on the rise. The woman in custody facing hate crime charges after telling police she pushed the man to his death because she thought he was a Muslim. We travel to the town of Kingston in upstate New York, not far from where a mosque was desecrated in 2010. Can I help you? Mina, the man behind the counter. I'm playing the Middle Eastern victim. And Oliver, the racist provoking him. I am the bigot. Are both actors. The terrorist behind the counter. Not much reaction until this man speaks up. Hey, what are you giving me a hard time for? He's a Muslim. They want to blow up the whole country. Not everybody's like that. We got to be better than that. You understand what I'm trying to say? We are better than that. We're Americans. To get your and leave, you're pissing me off. You act like a jackwad in here in front of all these people. You don't have to carry on like a white. You Muslim? Yeah. I don't want an Arab Muslim taking my order. Can I talk to an American? Let me take your order. No, 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 no. I don't want you to take my order. I don't forget 9-11, buddy, okay? They're Muslim, terrorists. Do you want to buy this? Or do you I can't believe this. Or do you want to leave? You can't believe this? I can't believe you. I feel like I'm in a dream right now. Is this really happening? I think you're being inappropriate right now. If you're not happy, you need to leave. I'm not okay with the way you're talking now. You're being, like, so racist. Everybody who's walking around like that is a terrorist? He looks like one. You're an idiot. I apologize for my friend here. Now the final test. He's a soldier. He's in uniform. A member of the U.S. Army steps up to the counter. Hey, hey don't deal with this guy. He's a Muslim. <laughs> is he laughing? Why is that funny? Okay. Unroll? Hold, hold on. What happened? This guy's a Muslim. We live in America. He can, he can have any religion he wants. Aren't you fighting against these guys? Not at the moment. Right now, I'm ordering a sandwich. <clears throat> I don't think he should be working here. Yes, oh, okay. Okay. Fire your chips and move out. He doesn't follow orders. Look, I'd like to order some food, just not from you, okay? Get out. Put the chips down and go buy them somewhere else. You want me to leave this place? You have a choice to shop anywhere, just like he has a choice to practice his religion anywhere. That's the reason I wear the uniform, so anyone can live free in this country. Leave the man alone, buy your stuff, and leave. Time to tell this soldier this is one battle he no longer has to fight. How are you, sir? How are you, sir? I'm John Quinones with ABC's What Would You Do, the TV show. He you gotta a, be kidding me. He was an actor. <laughs> People might say that's very heroic, what you said, is it? No, sir. No, your heroes come in many shapes and sizes, but that wasn't heroic at all. I was just being a person and standing up for someone else. What principles were you defending? Everyone's inalienable rights. Everyone's. Everyone's in this country. And if you're Muslim. It doesn't matter to me, sir. If you're an American, you're an American, period. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video helped change your view in some way.